Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Indiana Sports Connection. Today we are going to talk about the Colts, a little bit of Jonathan Taylor, what the Colts have coming up in this game this weekend against the Texans, and also the fallout from Aaron Rodgers and what the Jets are going to do because yesterday felt like yesterday felt like a funeral for Aaron Rodgers just all around the media and what everybody was talking about. It is confirmed for Aaron Rodgers. It is a ruptured Achilles or torn Achilles, not ruptured. I don't know what the difference is, but and he is out for the rest of the season. Um, uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to him. I I always have loved to watch him play. It is uh, hard to watch somebody go down or go out that way. I've heard many people say, well, he's a super competitive guy and he will come back from this. But it's a lot different than basketball. Like Kobe Bryant had the Achilles injury in basketball. It's just probably the hardest injury you could ever have happen to you at the age that he's at. Something I found out yesterday, the calf strain or calf weakness. And this just goes into having old age a little bit is like your body starts to deteriorate a little bit. A weak calf muscle gives way to easily injuring your Achilles. So we learned something about that a little bit. And and I can see why. I mean, you're. Your whole leg, if your calf muscle is strained or weakened, it's going to put more strain on that Achilles tendon. So bad, bad day for Aaron Rodgers and Jet fans. Uh, And yeah, hope maybe we will see him again at some point. It would be cool to see him at least on the sideline for some of these games. But, you know, that's going to be all up to him. And, um, and that would just be a very, very difficult thing to, uh, to have to deal with and to be that that's the way you're going to go out. The thing is we don't, we put so much emphasis on quarterbacks and a lot of players, most players have an injury that puts them out of the league. Um, it's just that he's a super high profile player and uh, it just makes it it just makes it really really bad for all of them. And I've heard all this speculation: oh, are the Jets going to bring in a different quarterback? I mean, that's not going to happen. I mean, that's just a lot of stupid speculation because uh, they can't bring in Tom Brady or Carson Wentz or somebody. It's it's just not going to happen. So my heart goes out to them. And to Aaron Rodgers, I hope he can, uh, you know, at least have a good surgery and uh, get through this. It sucks having your leg, uh, like not <laughs> being able to have use of your leg. I, I broke a bunch of bones in my ankle when I was like 21 and just the rehab from that. And that was not even an Achilles, but the stretching and everything I had to do in my ankle to uh, to get out of that. Um yeah, because I had uh, surgery and plates and screws. Not a lot of fun. But when that did happen, I did sit on the couch and watch every single episode of Dawson's Creek. Never watched it before. Really sucked me in. So I guess I did gain that out of it while I was doing my rehab. It was on two hours in the morning every day, and I watched it. So, hey, let's get into the Colts. Let's talk about the game they have coming up this weekend against the Texans. The good thing is the Texans are ranked 31st in the league and the Colts are ranked 30th in the league. The Colts are favored to win this game. This might be the only time they're favored all year. They might be favored against the Panthers or there might be a few different teams they might be favored against, but the Colts, Anthony Richardson, we want to see him get it done in the big spot 
this weekend and take advantage of beating up on the Texans because uh, this is going to be one of the only times the Colts are going to be favored in any of these games. This episode of Indiana Sports Connection is brought to you by Mattress Warehouse. If you want to buy a name brand mattress at a warehouse price, get great deals on mattresses at Mattress Warehouse, 1808 North Coliseum in Fort Wayne, Indiana, or 4830 Lima Road, or visit us on Illinois Road, three locations. We deliver within within about 70 miles of Fort Wayne. So if you want to get that good night's sleep or your mattress is hurting you, come in. We are not the pushy salespeople that people so much fear when they go to buy a mattress. We will guide you to your best back support level and find something that you will truly love that is in your price range. We have mattresses all through different price ranges. So don't be intimidated by the process. Come in, get a new mattress. Now is the time to do it. Do it before winter time or before Thanksgiving. You wouldn't imagine how many people go to buy a spare room mattress like a week before Thanksgiving because everybody's coming into town. Get it done now before the weather gets cold. Mattress warehouse. All right, so Jonathan Taylor. I had this article pulled up on Jonathan Taylor. So he is, there was an article on SI, um, stampede blue.com is where, so according to ESPN, Stephen Holder, the Indianapolis Colts have currently minimized disgruntled star running back, Jonathan Taylor's interactions with the team. That's a continuation of how things have played out in the past couple of weeks when Jonathan Taylor's time around the team has been minimized, according to sources, at the request of the team. Holder writes, Taylor often departs the day before the Colts' midday practices following his ankle rehab sessions. So Jonathan Taylor is rehabbing an ankle. It almost makes me feel like he's a little bit of a con man that he's trying to get more money out of the Colts when he actually does have an injury and he also said earlier in the year that he you know didn't have a back injury didn't so um it appears as that some of the recently created distance between the two sides has been at the request of the Colts who likely don't want a added off-field distraction that Taylor's tumultuous relationship with the franchise presently provides instead indicating a desire to keep the focus on the field and ultimately trying to win football games this year. Well, yeah, that's why they're out there. Taylor, while national reports surfaced over the past weekend that Taylor's ankle, he could be ready to play as soon as week five when he's initially eligible on the PUP list. Um, For what it's worth, longtime Colts media member Mike Chappell of Fox 59 doesn't personally believe that Taylor remains in Indianapolis. He's come to the conclusion in his mind. This is Mike Chappell's, uh, uh, what he thinks is going to happen with Jonathan, Jonathan Taylor is that they're going to get rid of him because their relationship is broken. I've come to the conclusion in my mind that they're going to get rid of him because the relationship is broken. So, I have a little different. I think Jonathan Taylor is going to play for the Colts this year because nobody else is going to pay him what he wants to go to their team, especially if he actually is rehabbing an ankle injury. Now, I do see, think that maybe something like this will happen at the end of this four-week stint. Maybe Jim Irsay will give him a little something-something, just a little morsel of some money to be like, Here's a little money, Jonathan. You don't have to walk away with your tail between your legs. You you know, you can have a little bit of money. Just like an extra bonus or I don't know how they could do that, but he could do something for him to make him feel like he's a little bit more valued 
then he can come back and play for the Colts for this season because he has no choice. And this is all up to Jim Mercer. He doesn't have to do this. If Jonathan Taylor wants to sit out this entire season, he will come into next season in the exact same situation that he's in right now because he won't have accrued a season this season and his contract from this year will just roll over to next year if he doesn't play at all. So if he doesn't want that to happen and he doesn't want to just be in the same situation and then after not playing for a full year, nobody is going to pay you anything close to what you think. So Jonathan Taylor is going to come back and play for the Colts. I feel like it's a guarantee. He's going to come back after week four, whether if Jim or say gives him a little bit of money or what, what he's got to do to, you know, get him out there on the field. I feel like he is going to do it because he has no choice. There is no other way for him to get out of this. They own his contract. Also, also the thing when he went out there and looked for trades other places, all of the interest that was drummed up out of that saying that Miami wanted him, all of that information came from his agent. His agent said that they were talking to Miami. So I don't really trust that information at all. Um, that's just stuff they put out there in the media. Oh, yeah, this team, Miami's interested in that. I don't believe anybody was ever close to making a deal with Jonathan Taylor because it would be stupidity by that team. I've seen people say, like, oh, the Ravens had J.K. Dobbins just got hurt. Like, well, the Ravens, the Ravens won't overpay for any player ever. I mean, that's why they're such a good team every year. They never overpay for anybody that is going to be in those types of positions. And that's what smart ownership does. They don't overpay for guys that that don't have huge value. You're just not going to overpay a guy that you don't have to overpay. It's stupid for your team. It's a quarterback-driven league. It's a quarterback-centric in every single way. It's almost like a skills competition for quarterbacks out there. And running back is just not one of the top positions anymore like you would think it would be. You're handling the ball all the time and taking a beating out there, but it's a skill that many people have, and catching the ball is a much more regarded skill now because of the passing game is so so much more prevalent in the NFL. So I do believe Jonathan Taylor is going to come back This game against the Texans this weekend, I will talk more X's and O's about what to expect in the game tomorrow. But we do have Zach Moss is going to be on the field, and he is going to be playing for the Colts. So he's going to be the running back spot. So we'll be able to see can somebody else come in for the Colts and help them out a little bit at the running back spot until Jonathan Taylor gets back. If he has a really good game against the Texans, which historically the Colts have been able to run the ball in the Texans, um, normally they can they always can get a hundred yard rusher on the Texans. So it's a good game to let this guy get his feet wet a little bit, and, and you know hope the Colts can bring back a W. Too early in the season to have a must win game, but you do want to beat the Texans. They are favored in this game. The Colts are thirtieth ranked, and the Texans our 31st rank. So we're looking at two of the worst teams in the league here, folks. But we have potential star quarterback on our hands with Anthony Richardson. So we'll be looking forward to that coming up in a few days. The NFL season is upon us. I feel for you out there, Jets fans. Don't get too down, but just... Bad, bad luck for them, and I feel sorry for Aaron Rodgers, really do. And I was really looking forward to seeing how the season was going to play out this year with Aaron Rodgers on the Jets, and I just feel like it just got stolen out from under us, and we we all wanted to see how this was going to turn out, uh, whether good, bad, or ugly. I mean, I thought it was going to be ugly, but I still wanted to see the story. I feel like it was stolen away from us, but all right. We'll see you tomorrow, and until next time, stay classy out there, Colts fans.